This video will show you how to modify a SEMA X11 to have a nice front headlight. Please understand that I am not a great solder. I don't have a lot of electronic skills, but I'm not afraid to try. With that in mind, please, let's get started. We're going to use a 5 millimeter blue LED. Make sure that it works before we get started. Now that we know that it's working, keep track of your positive and negative, and we're going to clip off the leads to prepare it to take some new wire-based leads. For wires, what I like to use, just some small uh, phone line wires. So here's a little bit of a phone line. Just going to pull out the red and the black, just for reference. Go ahead and solder them on to the LED. You have to be careful soldering onto the LEDs. They're heat sensitive. So here you've got it soldered together. Before you begin your work, test it to make sure that your soldering hasn't fried the LED. Well, it's ready to go. So now we need to remove the four screws holding the body together. Flip it upside down, remove the four screws. Take it apart. <clears throat> might be a little tough. Sometimes um, in manufacturing, the paint can bleed, so you might have to simp it apart for the very first time. Next, we're going to go after and remove the battery compartment. There's four screws there. Once those are removed, we're going to take the battery compartment out and remove the fake little head bulb, which we're going to work with later. So we um, <clears throat> are going to drill a hole in the head bulb. Just drill a nice hole in, the, in a spare piece of wood. Stick the piece in it and then get your drill and go ahead and drill through it to make a hole for the bulb we created. Drill backwards, trim it up a little bit with an X-Acto knife to get everything out of the way. Now we're going to take the LED that we modified and with a little bit of pressure and some pushing, slip it through the hole that we've created in the fake bulb. Should be a nice snug fit. And there you go. That's what we're going to be ready to install. Now the next thing we're going to have to do is we need to remove that little plate on the front of the battery pack so that the wires can come through. So we're just going to use an X-Acto blade and trim out that little plate. You can see it's clear now. Now we're going to take that. Notice that there's an open space that has to go to the front. I'm going to go ahead and slip the fake bulb with our new light into it with that on the top. Get the wires up out of the way. Slip the battery pack back in where we had cut out. And then go ahead and screw it back in with the four screws that we'd pulled out earlier. Now, what we're going to need to do is solder onto those two points, and we want to get the leads from the motor out of the way, so we're going to remove the motor cover so that we can easily get those wires out of the way. Take those screws out and pull off the motor cover. Now that we've got it off, we can clearly move the motor wires so that when we solder, we're not going to worry about burning them while we work. So now we're going to take our modified thing and the black wire is going to go to the front. So we're going to solder it onto that front LED point. And the red goes to the back. Be careful, there are some components there. That's a tight soldering. Just get it soldered on nice and tight. Good clean solder. 
And once we've got it on, let's hook up a battery and make sure we didn't fire everything and then everything loads up. And sure enough, all lights, including our new one, blinks. Now we just need to put the motor cover back on, connect the all the parts, screw it back in. Make sure that the motor wire is down so it won't get pinched. And we're going to connect it. There's a little clip in the front there. You have to make sure it gets in tight. Bend the wires under, clip it down. Make sure that it all snaps together cleanly. And put in your four screws. And now, once it's all together, let's spin it up and make sure everything comes up. And success. So now I want to show you what it looks like in the dark with the motor spinning. Go ahead and hook the battery up. Blink, set the transmitter. Notice the nice front headlight, and we've got all four things spinning. A little bit of view from various angles, and you can see that that front headlight is pretty demonstrative, and when you're flying at night, it really makes a big difference. So thanks for watching.